Searching for users is actually going to be pretty straightforward, but there's a couple of things we need to do, include building our partial for the user block. And that will basically show a user's profile image, their username or full name, and it will also show their location if they have one. And we can reuse this throughout the site. So we're going to be creating a reusable template. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just go and sign up for a couple more accounts. So I'm going to choose a couple of names here and we'll just sign that user up. And let's keep an eye on our database. You can see we've got another user now and I'm going to sign up again with Billy. And let's do Billy at codecourse.com and sign Billy up too. Okay, so now that we've got a couple of accounts here, make sure you do register these via the form because we're going to be using these accounts later to sign in with. So make sure you remember the password as well. And I'm going to sign into my account so I can search for these people from my account. So up here is our find people form. We're going to be able to enter a name like Billy Garrett or just Billy or just Billy or even just the last name Garrett. It's going to be a very basic search, but it will be enough for now and you can expand on it later. You could use a solution like Elasticsearch if you wanted to index uh, the data that's being stored, whatever you want to do. So the first thing that we're going to do then is create our search controller. So if we come under HTTP controllers, let's create a new file in here. And of course, we'll call this search controller.php. And let's pull over our home controller just so we have the structure in here. OK, so for our search controller, the method name is going to be get results. And we are obviously going to return a view here. And that's going to be search dot results. And eventually we're going to be passing the user data that we find through in here. And of course, let's change the name of this controller to search controller. OK, so now let's create this view. It's pretty straightforward view. Uh, so over in resources views, let's categorize this under a search folder. And under here, let's create a file called results.php. So search results. So in here then, obviously this will extend the default template. So I'm just gonna pull that over from home. I'm gonna get rid of this. And in here are gonna be my results. So now we obviously need to add a root for this. So we're gonna to need to uh, be able to attach that form that we have in the navigation to a root. So when we submit any data through to here, that will go through. So let's open our roots file. And let's come down here, create a new section called search. And here we're going to have a get root to search. And we want to choose chatty HTTP controllers and that's our search controller and remember our method name is get results I'm going to call this search dot results because we might later on uh, add something else under the kind of search namespace so now that we know the name for this search dot results let's hook this up in the navigation so come over to templates navigation and where we have our form just here we're going to go and set the action to root search dot results. And while we're in here, actually, I'm just going to hook up the uh, brand name here or the logo, if you have one, to the home page. OK, so let's try out a search. So let's type in Billy and hit search. And OK, so we're, we're forwarded through to this. What we need to do here is under search results, I forgot to give this a blade extension. So that will now give us the results that we need. Perfect. So for each user that we find, we're going to need to display them as a little image. So we're going to need to display their profile picture eventually when we get around to doing that. We're also going to need to display their username or full name. And of course, we can display their location if they have one. So we need to create a template here that we can reuse throughout the site because we're going to be re reusing this quite often. So under views, I'm going to create a new folder called user. And under here, I'm going to create a new folder called partials. 
So as part of the course downloads, you'll have the partial template for this. So if you open this up, we can go ahead and create a new file in here called user block dot blade dot php paste this in and this is basically a media object within uh, bootstrap and it gives you an image on the left here which we don't have anything in just yet and then we have a body in this case we just have a heading here with a hard-coded username in but down here we could also include uh, some text as well like the location so eventually when a user has a location we can output it down there so let's try and just include this into the search results page just to see what it looks like on the page and then we'll get on with the actual search. So over on our results page, let's mark this up. All we're gonna do here is pretty straightforward markup. Your search for, now where do we get this search input from? Well, if we open the navigator again under templates, partials, you can see that we uh, have a input type of text here and the name is query. So this is gonna be our, our name that we pick up. So you can obviously change that. But in this case, in the uh, results here, we're gonna say your search for, we're gonna use the request facade, use the input method and then say query like that. And this will be automatically escaped because Blade now automatically escapes with outputting. So we're just gonna surround that in quotes and down here then let's create a row in bootstrap so it's a div with a class of row and let's create a column um, a column that's 12 columns on large so in here then i'm going to include this partial that we just created just so we can see what it looks like so use a block and let's see what this looks like now there we go so it doesn't look like anything at the moment, but we haven't done profile pictures just yet. So this looks a little bit strange, but if we were to, uh, under the user block, eventually have the location, you'll see that that looks slightly better. And then you'll have the image just on the side here, but this will obviously be pushed in a little bit. So for now, this will do because we know that we have uh, a list of uh, things that we've searched for. And what we can do is start to actually write the query that we need for our search. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check if the query is there. First of all, if it's not, we're going to just return back home. So I'm going to store the query in a variable just here. And we're going to say request input query. In actual fact, what we could do is use the same request method as we've done before to keep consistency. So if we head over to the uh, auth controller again, and we just grab this request here, we're type hinting that request. Um, and then we head over to grab the import for this like that. Then what we can do is we can say query equals request input query and if we just do a die dump on query just to make sure we're getting the right value so if I do a query for Billy there we go so if we don't have a query this will be a null value if it doesn't exist and we want to return redirect back to the home route so obviously there's no need to perform a search if we don't have any query so we're going to be searching on the user model. So I'm going to import the user facade just up there. And we are now going to start searching. Now this is very, very basic, not as fast as you would expect from uh, a system with lots of users. So, you know, if there are millions of users on the platform, this is going to perform very slowly. You're better off using a, a solution like Elasticsearch. But for now, this will do, and it will give us enough flexibility to find people. So I'm going to use a where clause here, but I'm going to have a raw DB statement in here. And that raw DB statement is where concat, so we're concatenating the first name, a space, and the last name, and then after this, we say like
and then the query surrounded by percentage signs. And then what we're going to do is say or where username like and then the query again. So you can obviously modify this if you want. If you are brilliant at SQL, you could perform a much better search than this. But generally, all we're doing is we are doing a normal eloquent where clause. We're concatenating the first and last name with a, a space in the middle. And we're comparing that to the query. And then we're doing the same with the username as well. So we can search on usernames. So let's go ahead and just kill the page and output users. Get is obviously pulling through a collection. So if we were to refresh now, okay, so we get class user not found, of course. What we need to do here is import chatty models user rather than just user. And of course, again, we have this DB facade that doesn't exist under this controller's namespace. So we need to import that too. Let's just make sure we don't need anything else here. No, I don't think we do. And we have an undefined variable user. And that's just my mistake there, killing that. So third time lucky, there we go. So we've now got a collection of one item, which we would expect because we do have a user called Billy in the database here. And uh, if we just pull open the attributes here, we know it's the right user. Let's just try manually modifying the uh, first and last name of one of these users, just so we can see it working. So we've got Dale Garrett and Billy Garrett. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to search for Billy Garrett, hit search, and we get that one result again, which is that Billy result. If we were to just do Garrett, we now have two results because there are two people with the surname Garrett, or at least stored. And you kind of get the idea. Again, I can search just on usernames and that'll bring me back the user. So we've now got the results based on that uh, fairly flexible search. We now just need to pass through the users that we found into our view so we can loop through them and output them. So under our results then, what we're going to do in here is we can leave the user block there, but we're going to put this inside our loop in just a moment. And we're just going to say for each users as user. We'll end that for each there. And all we're going to do is include this inside of there, like that. But um, if we don't have any results, we obviously don't want to do that. So let's create an if statement up here. So if no users count, otherwise, and then if we do have a count, we can just loop through them. So here, we're just going to say no results found, sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and perform a search. Uh, let's go over to here and type Billy. And there we go, so we've got one result here. We've obviously hard-coded the value, we'll change that in just a moment. If we type in Garrett, we get two results which we expected. So we can now just modify our user block to actually reflect this new user data. So for the username in here, we're going to say user get name or username and then down here we're going to say if user location we're going to output the user's location like so now there's quite a bit we don't actually have in here we don't have the uh, profile link to the profile page because we haven't built that yet. We also don't have the avatar URL either. But we can cover these in the next couple of steps. So let's just leave these out for now. The only thing that we can really do is the alt text. The alt text could just be something like the user's full name. So we could just say user get name or username. And you could say it was their profile picture or something. But anyway, when we refresh now, uh, okay, so, ah, of course, so this will mean that I have not 
call this as a method. So let's refresh. And there we go. So we've got Dale Garrett. We've got this image with that alt text in there that uh, is now showing the kind of outline of this image. And eventually we'll be able to click on these to go through to the user's profile, eventually add them as a friend and see what they've posted on their wall.